the system is set up to whereas if you sit long enough, your plea will get the conviction and that's how the record is set for the most part. My name is Melvin Diggs. I uh, worked at the medium security institution, which is known as the workhouse for uh, 28 years. I grew up in St. Louis uh, all my life. Growing up, I didn't know a whole lot about the workhouse. I actually didn't know anything about corrections. It was just one of those things where I just uh, ventured into it. They were hiring, I applied, but I had no other knowledge of exactly what it consisted of. If we had no bail, then we wouldn't have a workhouse. So we need to end cash bail because of the impact that it's having in our city, in our state, and in our country. Organizers say too many people are jailed overall in St. Louis, especially poor people. The way the St. Louis structure is set up, the workhouse's purpose is pretty much bail jail. 98% of the detainees in the workhouse are there pre-trial because they can't pay some amount of cash bail. So it's basically a housing that is supposed to house approximately 50 60 inmates, but that's that's never been the number. It's always been an overcrowded atmosphere in regards to the amount of people that were housed. It's kind of an, it's an obviously it's an old building. There's a lot of things that are, that the conditions are, are bad, whether there's molding, whether there's flooding, whether there's the mice and all the other different things that, that goes on. You got snakes that may come from the outside. You got animals that, I mean, you got inmates that get spider bites. You got. You got rats or whatever, roaches, you got all of that. And they know that. You got instances where in the serving of the, the trays of inmates, for instance, when they're when they're going to chow, you can there's there's not a time where an inmate may come up and say, man, it's it's a roach in my food or whatever the case may be. The conditions were not were not good. Just like anything else, you got good and bad officers, corruption. You've always had that based on the fact of who you hiring. We've had situations where officers may know somebody and they may say, well, do something to them. And what the officers were doing was allowing, if an inmate was calling another inmate out and saying, yeah, I'll do whatever to you, whatever, they would let that individual out of one cell and then that individual, the other individual would be let out of his cell. And basically, to my understanding, that's kind of how even the other individual would be allowed to enter the other individual's cell, and they would fight and get whatever their differences are, and then return back to their, to their housing. The system is set up to whereas if you sit long enough, your plea will get the conviction, and that's how the record is set for the most part. We're talking about a system that says you're in a holding facility. You've been charged with a crime, but yet not found guilty. So again, of course, you got hundreds of people that's sitting there that's quote unquote has not been found guilty, but obviously they're being held without facts of proof. And you can sit there for, psh, again, forever. It can be a minor tampering. It can be trespass. It can be any of those things. People that are housed there definitely don't, don't have the money to make the bond. I take my responsibility serious. Like I said, I've been in that system for 28 years. A, cap a captain was supervised a period for 24 years, those 28 years. I've been in several administrative meetings, supervisor meetings, all of the above. I've, on record, has been the only captain that's always spoke out about these issues and complaints and et cetera. And I've also been the person, once I've done that, I've been isolated. I've always spoke out. It's just, it's, just it's, it's moral to do it. And I've never hesitated to do it. They've been trying to make an example out of me for years. How about speaking to the media? Is that something you could do when you were in your position? We were we were told that we could not. And why is that? Why don't they want people? I, I mean, obviously they don't want uh, the story to be told. Some of the things that, that, are all, that are all going on in there, they don't want, they don't want it to be told.